Swing and a high fly ball belted. First home run for Acuna as a tape measure shot in Cincinnati. Okay, now would you like to know what I'm impressed with today? Wow. An absolute missile into the second deck, and it's 2 0. And up inside again. Got it there, and a high fly ball deep to right field. Did he get it there enough? He did not. It's a home run for Ozzy Albies. A two run shot. Acuna and Albies. Straight A's for Atlanta. Eight home runs for Albies. His 18th extra base hit, a new and ladder record before the end of April. To deep center field, they should have thought about putting him on. Teams with chances their last time's up. Dickerson sends it out to right. It's deep. And this one is reached out and caught. It's over the wall. And if they count it, the Pirates have walked off winners. There's your hero. Now they're gonna they're definitely gonna look at this one. And I, I'm with you. I think it's it's iffy whether that ball was messed with or not. They are going to look at it, but for right now, Corey Dickerson with his first career walk-off home run. Yeah, I didn't love it. Oh. And he connects to deep right field. Gerard Dyson muscles up for a two-run home run. His second of the series. It's two-nothing Diamondbacks. NBHD. Never bunt. Hit dingers. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, this is baseball, guys. Are you kidding me? That's big boy land, too. He did that the first night in. He followed up Avila's home run back to back. Eric, that's a good call. And that ship to left field. Hoskins looking for it. And it's over his head. It's a three run home run for Nick Ahmed. And the Diamondbacks grab a 6 0 lead. Ahmed muscles up for his fourth of the year. And the Boo Birds are out in Philly. Wow. Philly's sports teams are thriving right now. Left field, Hoskins giving it a look. And that's gone. Two-run home run, David Peralta. It's 8-0 Diamondbacks. It sneaks over the wall, and here comes the baseball. Third home run of the season for David Peralta. I think guys like hitting here. Change up as well, but forget your pull field. This one hit deep to right center field. Hit a long way to the gap. It is gone. A home run for Eduardo Escobar. Into the Yankee bullpen. And the Twins jump out in front two to nothing. That is just wonderful hitting by Eduardo Escobar there. His first time up way out in front of a breaking ball for strike three swinging uh, can't be used legally and what all oh, that balls drive to right field judge going back or Stanton rather leaps and that ball is gone I believe a home run for Robbie Grossman just out of the reach of John Carlos Stanton and the twins now lead three to nothing. Deep to left field, fair ball, the game's over. See ya, a walk-off three-run home run for Gary Sanchez. The Yankees have come all the way back, and they win this one four to three. Well, take it in, folks. Is this the, the, the thing that starts the Yankees for one of those magical runs here? What a great way to end the game and head on to the West Coast. 
Runner goes. 3 2 hit high and deep to right. Back is Hanniger on the track at the wall. He's out of room. It's out of here. The Indians are on the board on a two out, two run homer by Yonder Alonso here in the sixth. And that home run makes it a four to two ball game. For Alonzo, his sixth home run of the year, and a team leading 15 runs batted in. Swing of the bats. High shot back into center field, turning around and watching that one get out. Jones watches it sail away, and a two run home run off the bat of CJ Crone. Rays out in front, two to nothing. Crone's sixth home run of the year. Jones turn took a step and a half and just watched it get out of here. Is it a pod walking right? You hitting the lineup together? Long one off the bat of Ramos deep to left. Mancini will look up. That one is out of here. Wilson Ramos connects. And the Rays make it four to nothing. Well, the Rays catcher, Ramos belting his second home run of the year. You know, he had gone. 0 oh for 7 with three strikeouts against Bundy. That's his first career hit off Bundy. Here's the 2 2. And Adam gets a hold of it. Left center field going back at the warning track wall. And goodbye, home run. And the Orioles are back in it. Adam Jones delivers the long ball, his second home run against Archer Lifetime. The Orioles put two up. And there were two down and make it eight to four. Ah, big swing, man of Jones. And of course, that swing tie and boot Powell. The rear number. 2 2 delivery on the way. Well, that's going to go up. Way back in left field and goodbye, home run. The Orioles get one back as Danny Valencia launches and it is eight to five. Oh, nice swing right there from Valencia. Finally getting on that slider. He's seen a steady dose now. That he's hit regular playing time, and every time he faces a righty, it's slider, slider, slider. This one started at that front hip, and he stayed in there on it. And you just never were going to beat them. Travis hits a ball a ton. Second deck home run. First of the season for Devin Travis. That's got to feel pretty good. Absolutely. Made the fastball and back off the breaking ball. High fly ball to deep left field. Back is Ben Intendi. Gone! Justin Smoke takes sail deep. Three to one, Blue Jays. Richard back, back, back to the wall, and that one gets out. It's a home run. Sailing into the bullpen. J.D. Martinez sucks it out of here, and the Red Sox are out in front here in Toronto, just clearing the high fence. J.D. with number five. One idea was to make the division round the best of seven. Schwarber golfs that one out of here. One to nothing in the sixth. Go ahead, boys. Get your dance on. Is that Luke Farrell? That was the newcomer. <laughs> that looked very much like the home run he hit in uh, Cleveland the other night. Coming into the day at 203, as you saw. Moncada lines this ball to right field. Soler is back at the wall, and Moncada did it again. He's 79 away from Ricky Henderson, and if he keeps this up, he'll be done by the end of the season. My goodness. That's home run number six, RBI number 12. You don't get the benefit of the call. That ball's hammered by Castillo to left and gone. Two nothing socks. Two sliders in a row, the second of which didn't back up, but it just hung there like a pinata, and Wellington torched it. His third home run is sixth driven in. 
That ball's drilled on a line, and it is deja vu for Matt Davidson. Another home run at Kauffman Stadium. Home run number six. He's now driven in 13. Four of those six have come right here. And so Perrin. Ten dollar value is one thing, but those passes will help a lot. Heads up, Toby. Soler hits it into the White Sox bullpen. That is his second, and it makes it a three to two game. You High ball with the wind blowing at all, it probably knocks it down. That ball is hit well by Trace Thompson. Almonte at the wall, and Thompson gets it up and out of here. Fourth solo home run tonight for the Sox. Told you about a very lively ballpark, and that it is. When you take it just to the right of center field, in this ballpark, you know the ball is jumping. Yep. Three and two. Davidson cranks it again. Matt Davidson one more time. Splash down to left field. And that's why Junis did not want to throw the slider. He threw two fastballs away because he was pitching away from his slider because he's been hanging it. And there he hung another one, and Matt Davidson, with his second home run of the night, he's driven in three. He got a hanging slider and didn't miss it.